Well, thank you everyone for joining us here today to discuss our government's intention to introduce legislation regarding COVID-19 paid sick leave. Before we get started, I would like to take this opportunity to recognize the courage of Alberta's workers over the last 13 months. Frontline workers risking safety to provide services and protect the economy, workers who adapted to working from home to keep contributing while reducing spread. Alberta's workers have risen to the challenge this pandemic has presented. So to all of, of the workers in Alberta, I want to say thank you. As you all know, vaccine program is ramping up and although there are some uh, hiccups in regards to supply, vaccines are becoming more widely available. Hardworking Albertans want to get the vaccine, but some may not be able to schedule an appointment because of their working hours. And they may not be able to afford a loss of pay, which is a barrier to getting vaccinated. So to address this issue, our government intends to introduce, introduce legislation that will amend the Employment Standards Code to provide a COVID-19 vaccine leave. If passed, it will give Albertans up to three hours of paid time off to get their vaccine. As with other leaves, Albertans cannot be fired or disciplined by their employer for taking this leave. Leave can be used twice if Albertans are getting a two-dose vaccine. Now this leave applies to full-time and part-time workers regardless of the length of service. And if passed, this leave uh, will take effect upon first reading and we hope to introduce this bill in the legislature today. Now, as always, we encourage employers and employees to work together on scheduling appointments, minimizing the impact on employees and also minimizing the impact on employers when taking this leave. But getting more people immunized means that we are getting closer to be able to reopen our economy. It makes it easier for Albertans to get vaccines, taking us one step closer to the end of this pandemic. This helps our economy, protects lives and livelihoods and helps get Albertans back to work. And with that, I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister. Uh, we ask that you uh, keep yourself to one question and one follow-up. Uh, can you please put through the first caller? Thank you very much. The first question is from Kevin Nimick from CTV Calgary. Kevin, your line is open. Please go ahead. Hi there. Uh, Minister, this seems to be an idea that was first floated by the NDP. Is this something that you worked on in consultation with the opposition? Yes, this is something we've been watching for a number of weeks. As you may know, Saskatchewan passed a similar uh, paid uh, vaccine protected leave. Uh, BC just introduced uh, this in the House uh, this week. Um, a question was raised by the, um, uh, by the leader of the opposition and our premier made a commitment that we would look seriously at this issue, which, which we are. And, and really our focus is on you know, getting vaccines out as quickly as possible so we can get through this pandemic and reducing the barriers for some workers who have challenges being able to schedule a time while they're not working and they're concerned about losing pay uh, and they can't quite frankly afford to do that. You know, our quickest path through the uh, pandemic is getting people vaccinated and so that's why we're uh, putting this in place and we've had conversations with the, uh, with the NDP about this as well. Thank you. Follow-up? Yeah, Minister, are you looking at other sorts of protections for workers as it pertains to COVID-19, things like paid sick days above what their workplace offers or um, uh, paid days if someone needs to go have a COVID test done? Are there any sort of other uh, protections that you're looking at introducing? So we have already put in... Um, uh or, or job protection for people who need, need to self-isolate, uh, who need to look after their kids. Uh, these are unpaid leaves. We put these in place. And the federal government also has uh, uh, paid sick leave and provides financial support uh, under, under their programs. Thank you very much. Please put through the next caller. Thank you. Sarah Colabina, Global News. Hi, thank you for taking my question. I'm just wondering how soon this could come into effect if it's passed. Yeah, so the, uh, we intend to introduce it today uh, with the legislation to say that it would take effect upon first reading. Uh, so as, assuming it's passed and we get it introduced in the legislature today, it would, it take, it would take effect today. Thank you. Follow-up? Through, through this, I, I know there's been conversations uh, with with the opposition, but uh, have you also heard from workers that are concerned about this? How how many you know how many people could this affect? 
Yeah, it, it's it's hard to say because as you know, there's always a, a group of workers um, who you know uh, can uh, make the bookings uh, and will do it and choose to do it outside of uh, of their working hours, and, and that works best for them. Um, but these, this is directed at those group of workers who, you know, may be working multiple jobs, uh, lower income, um, can't afford to uh, to uh, to lose time, and, and then don't quite frankly don't have the time to uh, to do this. And we want to make sure that we reduce their barrier, these barriers to them, uh, and get them vaccinated as quickly as possible. In terms of the exact count, we don't have that, but we have heard that there are, there are concerns by some workers of uh, their ability to uh, to. Uh, uh, get the time to get the shot, and we want to make sure that we eliminate those barriers and get Albertans vaccinated as quickly as possible. Thank you very much. Please put through the next caller. Ashley Joano, Post Media. Hi. So um, one of the things that the NDP had mentioned wanting when they talked about this yesterday was for the legislation to also cover Albertans who needed to help family members who also needed to get vaccinate, uh, vaccinated. Can you confirm whether this legislation will also allow those three hours of paid leave uh, to cover people who need to help family members in need? Yeah, I, I recognize there's there's different approaches to this. BC took that approach. Saskatchewan took approach where it's just focused just on workers. You know, our uh, this paid uh, leave, our intention is to focus on uh, on workers and uh, ensuring that they can actually get vaccinated. Thank you. Follow up. Um, do you have no? I, sorry, I think this question is already. I was going to ask if you have any sense of of how many workers will take advantage of this. Um, but I think you've already answered that. Yeah, yeah as, as I said before, it, it's it's really hard to say. Um, you know, you, you see, you know, similar provisions like this, um, where you know small groups will take uh, 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 will take advantage of it. But really, at the end of the day, what we're asking, because we also appreciate that. Um, you know that businesses also continue to need to operate, and these are challenges time not only for uh, Alberta workers but for Alberta businesses. That that workers and employers uh, work together to minimize the impact. But what's critically important here, and this is why we're doing it, is we need to get people vaccinated as quickly as possible. Thank you very much, and that concludes today's press conference. Thank you very much, everyone.